The fuselage ripped open right above passengers' heads, a briefcase-sized hole captured on this cell phone video. Steve Hall heard a loud pop, then a prolonged whooshing sound as the cabin depressurized. When the oxygen mast had dropped a few seconds after that noise, we had extreme pressure in that cabin, you know, like being deep under, under the sea, if you will. The packed Baltimore-bound Southwest flight in the sky above Kentucky diverted to the nearest airport, 20 minutes away in Charleston, West Virginia. When the Boeing 737 landed, the flap of fuselage was still clinging to the hull, just in front of the tail. Investigators will examine whether corrosion or fatigue could have caused the tear. Both were factors in this 1988 Aloha Airlines accident. A huge swath of fuselage ripped off over Hawaii, pulling a flight attendant out of the cabin to her death. Just last year, Southwest found cracks in half a dozen of its 737s and was fined $7.5 million for overdue inspections. Southwest has got a, a very challenging uh, schedule. Their planes fly longer, land and take off more often than other air carriers. It puts a lot of stress on the equipment. They need to be maintained. This particular plane was 15 years old and Southwest says the very spot that ripped open had been inspected in January. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Reagan National Airport.